Mark chapter number 8. And I'll give you a few minutes to find these. Mark chapter number 8, Acts chapter number 20. 2 Timothy chapter number 4. Mark chapter number 8. Acts chapter number 20. 2 Timothy chapter number 4. Number 8, Acts chapter number 20, 2 Timothy chapter number 4. And you got it, say amen. amen. Mark chapter number 8, I'm going to start reading at verse number 34. The Bible said that when he had called the people unto him, with his disciples also he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Verse number 35 is what you really, I want you to really pay attention to. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospel's, the same shall save it. <clears throat> Let's read that one more time. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. Over in Acts chapter 20, Start with verse number 22. The Bible said, And now, behold, I go bound in the Spirit unto Jerusalem, not knowing the things that shall befall me there, save that the Holy Ghost witnesseth in every city, saying that bonds and afflictions abide me. But none of these things move me Neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Notice in verse 24, the writer said, Neither count I my life dear unto myself, unto myself. And if you'll turn over to Second Timothy chapter number four. Start with verse number six. The words of the apostle Paul. For I am now ready to be offered. And the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord the righteous judge shall give me at that day, not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Again in verse number 7, or verse number 6, Paul said, I am now ready to be offered. <clears throat> I would ask our pastor if she would pray to read the God's word. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your word, the scriptures, Lord. Oh, and now, Lord, let the anointing of God rest upon your servant to bring forth the oh, word of God, God. strengthen him, anoint him, kind of with wisdom and knowledge and understanding. 
just rather just croak over and die. Amen. There's just something in us. Amen. Pastor, that wants makes us want to live. Amen. Come on here. Amen. It's just that natural impulse. Amen. I want to live. Amen. But then Christ talks about whosoever shall lose his life. Amen. What are we losing our life for? For what? For my sake. And the Gospels. Amen. We live in a church age today. Amen. That we are so eagerly to live for Jesus. Amen. Oh God, help us tonight. And I want to live for Jesus. Amen. I said I want to live for Jesus. But I want to ask you a question tonight. Are we willing to die for Jesus? Come on here. Amen. Help me, Lord. I'm going to tell you if we could form lines tonight in the sanctuary, we would ask all those that want to live for Christ. Amen. Paul in line over here. And all those that would volunteer to die for Christ. I'm going to tell you, I don't believe we'd get too many volunteers. Amen. It's so much easier to live for it. Amen. I said it's so much easier to live for Christ. Amen. But the question remains. Are we willing to die? Amen for Jesus. This is the ultimate price. It is the mission of the world today. Come on here. You must understand something. And realize that that the adversary out there. The enemy of Christianity. Amen. Is out to kill us. And to destroy us. And to persecute us. Did not our Bible tell us. Amen. That we shall suffer persecution. Amen. I'm talking about a little more deeper. Amen. To being talked about and criticized and lied on. Come on here. Amen. I'm talking about something that goes a little further than that. And I know we don't like to talk about it, but we must admit that we are running out of fast pace. It's already started. And pouring pills. And I wonder how soon we'll be on our door. You pray for us tonight. I want to preach to you. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the ultimate price. Amen. We read, we've read of those in the Bible. Amen. It's full of it. Of those that were martyred. Those that gave their life for the cause of Christ. Those that gave their life for Jesus, for Christianity. Come on. We've read about it in the different books. Fox's Book of Martyrs, etc. We could go on and on. Amen. But it's there. Amen. That was in the past. Amen. We escaped those days. Come on. Amen. When I get to thinking along these lines, amen. I said, man, amen. That was a hundred, four hundred, five hundred years ago. That was back in that day. That was in the Bible. Amen. Amen. I'm glad we've escaped. But I wonder, have we? Really escaped. Come over here. Amen. Hallelujah. You pray for us tonight. Amen. I'm not here to scare you. I'm not here to, I don't know. I'm just here to obey God tonight. Hopefully, can get your attention and my attention to help us to understand if we've ever needed God, we need God right now. If we've ever got down the business with serving the Lord, it is right now. Amen. It's time that we quit playing church. Amen. And make up our minds. Amen. It's facing us. It's coming to us. Amen. I want to be ready. Look 
can give. Amen. Come on here. Amen. I want to tell you, friend, I want to be ready. I want to make sure that I've got something down in my soul. Amen. And I can look at this ultimate price. Amen. And say, do what you must. I will not recant. I will not deny my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. that we've never had to face before. Amen. Come on here. Amen. I never thought that in my time and in my lifetime that we ever see this, uh, the trouble and the chaos and the attack on Christianity. Amen. They don't want anything to do with Jesus. Amen. They don't want anything to do with God or Christianity. Amen. We are the enemy. We are the ones they are saying that needs to be removed. Come on. Church house, amen, and to proclaim and brag and boast 
I'll die for you, Lord. Amen. But see, Peter, amen, when he got to that place where he was facing the ultimate, the ultimate price. But Peter knew, if I say yes, I know it. Amen. They'll hang me on a cross just like they're doing Jesus. Amen. Come on here. The truth was, I don't want no part of that suffering. I don't want no part of that dying.
story was told of these 13 Christians, some foreign field. I don't know where it was at, but they all held guns on them. One at a time would make them walk out into the water until they drowned and go down. And every time one of them would go down, a crown would set down on top of that water. It came to the last man, and as he watched his 12 comrades go down one by one, he turned around and he ran toward the bank. Amen. He went over to one of the soldiers. Amen. And the soldier asked him, he said, what are you doing? He said, I can't go through it. Amen. That soldier threw his gun to that man. And he said, what are you doing, sir? He said, I'm going to go after what you just give up. I want to tell you something, friend, tonight. Amen. They may cut my head off and they may fill me with bullets. Amen. But I'm going to tell you, there's nothing that can compare. Amen. When I finally reach over there on the other side. Hallelujah. That shore. Amen. Pastor Hamilton. Amen. They may kill this body, but they cannot destroy my soul. Amen. Come over here. I want to encourage you tonight. I want to challenge you tonight. Amen. If you're playing games with God, if you're messing around, you better get down to business. You better pray like you've never prayed before. You better get a hold of God. You're going to need Him in the days to come. Amen. Come over here. There's a storm out on the ocean. And it's moving this way. Come over here. It's your life. It's not anchored in Jesus. You will surely be swept away. I'm going to tell you the church. Better get rooted and grounded in Christ. I said we better get rooted and grounded in Christ. We better get on the rock. I said we better get on the rock. We better be built upon the rock. I am now ready. I am prepared. I'm willing. Can you say that tonight? Everybody stand to your feet. Will you be a Peter or a Paul? I think about my Savior, my Lord, Christ died for me. Christ died for you. Horrible death. History says they beat him so bad that his own mother didn't recognize him. Those cat and nine tails ripped the flesh open on his back. They spit in his face. Crown of thorns, they plaited together and they crowned him down on his head. I'm not talking about little thistles, I'm talking about thorns. The pain, the suffering. As they hung there on that cross, he drove, they drove those nails through his hands and through his feet. Could you imagine? I'm not talking about a 16 pin in hell. I'm talking about spikes. He had to push up to get air. And every time he pushed up, the excruciating pain that would go through his body. That's why they broke the legs of those thieves so they couldn't push up no more to get air. He suffered and he opened not his mouth. He stood there like a lamb on a slaughter. Oh, if you're the Holy Ghost. He bled and died 
for someone like me. David Turner, you've lived for him this long. Will you be willing to die? Every head bowed and every eye closed tonight. That precious thing that we fight for now, are you willing to lose it for His sake? Do you love Him that much? Or would there be a hesitation? Check our hearts, Lord. Come on. I'm not talking about tonight who you think you are. But do you know beyond a shadow of a doubt? Jesus, I'm with him. I'm with him. And I. That's what I must do. Our sisters and brothers across the water, they're dying. They're giving their life for Christianity, for Christ. They will not recant. They will not turn their back on their Savior. I'm going to ask you tonight, if it comes to you, what will you do? What will you do? What will be your choice? Oh, it's easy. It's easy right now to say, I die for it. We just preached a revival meeting to North Carolina. Young man up there got robbed, beat up. He told me, he said, it makes a difference. They stuck the barrel of that gun in his mouth. The fear that overcome that man. He shook and trembled. Huh? Come on here. What was that? He didn't want to die. It'd be so be different. They stick the gun between your eyeballs or in your mouth and say, if you don't deny Christ, we're going to blow your brains out. What would your answer be? Hmm? How would anybody know that preacher? Paul knew it. Paul knew it. Because he said, for now, I am now ready. I'm going to ask you tonight, if you really didn't think, God, I could go through it, you need to be the first one in this song. easy to stay in church and the boast of what you'll do and what you won't do. But what about when they bring the blade and the blood starts flying? I don't know why God laid this on my heart. Come on, young people. Come on, children. You're going to need God. You're going to need God, Mom and Daddy. Oh, sweet Lamb of God. Oh, I just feel that spirit of prayer tonight. Come on, saints. I just feel like if we cry out to Him, Pastor, I feel like if we just reach just a little.
hold back tonight. Don't hold back. It's life or death. It's life or death. Huh? Are you willing? Are you ready? Are you prepared?
Yeah. 